Boris Johnson is under stress to provide an explanation for a meeting with Sue Gray over her highly anticipated Partygate report. Before we continue, please if you are new here, just take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button to get amazing contents. It is understood the pair met at least once to provide an update on the document's development whilst it was being drafted, however Whitehall source stated that its contents has now not mentioned at any point. The specific nature of the talks stay unclear. Such conferences would not have been considered as unusual, the source said, with the goal to take stock of what stage the file used to be at. The news board suggested that the discussions touched on whether or not images would be published to the public and that Gray initiated the assembly to make clear her intentions for what would take place as soon as the police investigation concluded. But a spokesman for the Gray inquiry disputed this account of events. They verified that a meeting took place, however informed the PAR information organization they would not characterize the talks in that way. It comes as about 30 people, inclusive of Mr. Johnson, are being contacted by the Cabinet Office to warn them of the contents of the record ahead of its publication. Angela Rayner, Labour's deputy leader, called on the Prime Minister to urgently explain why the secret meeting had taken place. She stated public confidence in the procedure had already been depleted and human beings deserve to be aware of the truth. Downing Street insisted that the Prime Minister had been clear throughout that the document must be completely independent. It is thought that most of the Cabinet Office letters were sent out on Thursday as the Metropolitan Police concluded its investigation into lockdown breaches in Downing Street and throughout Whitehall. Johnson is said to be amongst those approached, however it was once doubtful on Saturday morning whether or not he had yet obtained the letter. It was once reported on Friday night time that two civil servants had indicated they had been considering legal action to stop themselves being recognized in the report. Earlier, the PM had insisted he would no longer try to block names stated in the document and said he was once looking forward to seeing its contents pretty soon. Rayner said. Boris Johnson need to urgently give an explanation for why he held a secret assembly with Sue Gray to talk about her file in spite of claiming her investigation was definitely independent. Public confidence in the process is already depleted and humans deserve to understand the truth. This is a prime minister incapable of taking accountability for the rotten lifestyle he has created in Downing Street or of doing the respectable thing. The Sue Gray file have to be posted in full and with all accompanying evidence. Liberal Democrat MP Christine Jardine additionally called on the PM to throw light on the meeting. Any whiff of a stitch up would make an absolute mockery of the report, she said. This meeting should be explained. Most of the country already feels betrayed by Boris Johnson. He has undermined public confidence and the public deserve a procedure that is totally obvious and beyond question. It is a sorry state of affairs that Boris Johnson and his government are in such a crisis, he should do the right thing and resign, if not conservative MPs must sack him. Adam Wagner, a human rights attorney who has specialized in lockdown rule breaking, stated the file was not an impartial report and never has been. It's an internal report. This isn't a judgment on Sue Gray, it's a statement of truth, she is an employee investigating her direct line managers, he tweeted. A number 10 spokesperson said. The Prime Minister commissioned the investigation led via Sue Gray and has been clear throughout that it should be absolutely independent. As he reiterated once more today, the decision on what and when to submit rests entirely with the investigation crew and he will reply in Parliament as soon as it concludes. Not everybody contacted by the Cabinet Office will always be named or recognized by some different means in the record, it may additionally basically be that their moves are referenced due to the fact they are pertinent to the narrative of a particular event. The investigators are understood not to be including the full details of the document's contents in the letters, however alternatively are giving a gist of the applicable sections to those being approached. The Met declined to identify each person in its £460,000 investigation. A group of 12 detectives examined 345 documents, which include emails, door logs, diary entries, witness statements and 204 questionnaires. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my